All right, Jared Hazen, pleasure to have you back on the Single Track Podcast. Yeah, Finn, thanks for having me. So last time we talked, it was late April. You were coming off what I thought was a stellar performance at the Canyons 100K. You'd punched your ticket back to Western States. Uh, I know that we're here to talk about Cape Town, but I'm curious because Western States just, it means so much in our sport and you've had the highest of highs. They're the lowest of lows. Can you talk about what transpired on the day and how that sort of dictated the rest of your summer when it comes to racing and training? Yeah, I guess to rewind like a little bit before States was, I got my ticket at Canyons and then about a week after that, I'd gotten COVID. Um, and so it made for a difficult, uh, difficult transition um it just really abbreviated like the amount of time i had to to get ready for stays which you know many people got covid before states so i know it wasn't the only one but uh i guess i had raced well for probably half of the race like the first half and then um i got caught up racing a little too hard i think from you know probably mile 50 to 75 um I was running with Adam for like up till about halfway and uh, he started pulling away with me and we had been talking on the climb up to devil some and I could tell he was feeling really good. Um, and I was like, I, I think like, I think Adam's going to win. So when he started pulling away, I was like, I, you know, I also wanted to win the race. So I, I kind of gave chase and uh, I paid for it for sure. Um, mm. And yeah, I guess it's like reflecting back, like it's just, it's a tough way to run that race to like, my goal was to win. Like I've taken third, I've taken second, like I've run, you know, under 1430. And like, I guess to me, like the only successful day was like a win there. And that's just a hard way to run that race. Like there's so much that's out of your control. So yeah, I, I kind of paid for, for chasing so hard and I ended up dropping at mile 85. It's cool that you, it's cool to hear that you had that fighting mentality mid race though. Like you had the presence of mind to be like, okay, I think that this guy's on his way to a good day. He's going to be the ticket to a win and you still fought. I mean, it, obviously there's consequences, but you have experience and I find that to be cool. Um, yeah, I think, I think, you know, racing instincts were, were good on that day. And, um, yeah, I've been racing ultras for like 10 years now. So I generally, I, I do think my instincts and hunches of like mid race of like who who's looking good and who isn't are usually pretty accurate. Yeah. Yeah. Well, where does, you know, that was back in late June. We're about five months on now. Where did that Western States experience leave you in terms of your level of stoke and excitement for the sport and in training? Like, are you, are you someone that has like short-term memory when it comes to performances that, um, you know, weren't your best or do you like to sit with them for a while? I think for like a race like States, I definitely sit with it for a while. And, you know, it's, it's a huge letdown. Like you, you invest so much into the race and, um, it was the second year row. I remember just driving home and it was the, the worst couple of days of driving home. Like it, it sucked. Um, yeah. But you know, I, I'm never like <clears throat> that down and out where, you know, I don't want to go run. And so it's just a matter of time for me. And I think this year, especially, I finally got the recovery right after States and took enough time off and took enough time in July to just, you know, do what felt right and not, not get back into things and not put a uh, big race on the schedule too soon. And so that was really good. Like I, things kind of came a bit more naturally this time around and, um, started getting back into like really good training around August. Um, mm. and I get like, since about the time I started training well again, like I've started dealing with some plantar fasciitis problems. And so that's been like an ongoing battle, but, mm. um, you know, since August training has been pretty good. I've had to, I took a couple of weeks off to, to kind of handle my foot, but other than that, like things have been, um, things have been going good. What was the motivation to 
sign up for Cape Town? Maybe talk a bit about what excites you about that race, what inspires you about that race. Yeah, I think it's, you know, it's one of the premier like end of season races for sure. Um, so I, I knew I wanted to run one more ultra this year and, uh, I th- you know, the race has a lot going for it. Like I, they were, you know, one of the early adopters of like the live stream, you know, like they, they've been doing it for a few years yeah. now. Um, they seem to have like a really good community of runners in Cape town and that rally around the race. The course looks amazing. Like I think they, there, there's a lot of pros to it. Um, and then on top of that, like I always want to try to like find the, the deepest fields and the most competitive fields. And I think it's, you know, it's shaping up to be a good field for sure. Um, it's been a busy fall, uh, in terms of races. So it, I feel like every race has gotten a bit diluted and, uh, Cape town, you know, for sure has, but, um, you know, I, I think there'll be a good field assembled on race day. From what I can recall, and it's no surprise to you, Flagstaff runners have been exceptionally successful at this race. Jim's had a win there. Cody's had a win there. I got to imagine, given your relationship with them, you, you've talked to X's and O's about this race. Can you share any ad- advice they gave you in the last couple of months? Yeah, I mean, I think that it, 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 maybe the trails are a bit similar to to what we have in Flagstaff. We, we have a lot of like availability in Flagstaff for a bunch of different terrain, but like, you know, it seems like the trails are fairly runnable. Um, I've heard it's a bit technical and rocky, which we definitely have a lot of that around here. Um, so I guess my kind of with the picture I've got in my head is it, it is a bit like Canyon's 100K in that, you know, it's 100K with 15,000 feet of climbing. There's a few pretty tough late climbs in it. Um, but it runs about an hour and a half slower, it seems like. And I, think that's probably because of the technicality i mean the western states trail is super runnable there's it's it's like a buttery single track but um it seems like there's quite a bit of technicality in cape town you mentioned you've been dealing with some plantar fasciitis but training has been decent what are your expectations heading into this event like do you want to be competitive is is your goal to win this thing where's your mind at when it comes to the goals yeah i want to be competitive um, I've in the last month, I've definitely had like some of the best training that I've had in two or three years, or even some, wow. sometimes some of the runs I've done are just like the best I've ever done. Um, and like, I've lived in Flagstaff for five years and I've gotten ready for a lot of races here. And, you know, I've run some of these routes hundreds of times and like, I'm consistently posting some of my fastest times or my fastest ever times. So that's like super exciting for me. And, you know, I get a lot of confidence from that because I know you like these things, you don't like fake your way into running like the best you ever have on a route that you've run 200 times. Like, it's just like, you've kind of seen the whole spectrum. Um, that's really exciting. Um, so yeah, I want to, you know, I want to go compete. Um, but yeah, I, I want to be smart about it. Um, you know, I want to, I want to get to the finish line and I want to like close the year with the, like on a good high note. Last question I have for you. I, I see you're wearing the Solomon gear there. You're a Solomon mm-hmm. athlete. What shoes are you wearing on race day? I'll probably wear the sense ride on race day. So it's a kind of a hybrid shoe. Like it, it's like a shoe that I would build that you could wear kind of from your doorstep to the top of a mountain and back. Like it can handle pavement and uh, rocks pretty well. Um, but I've found it to be really good on like technical terrain. Like it's very stable. Like I don't roll my ankles and stuff. And like, that's kind of what I'm looking for is something that I could run some of the faster miles, no problem. But uh, I want to be confident and sure footed on like the real technical stuff. Awesome. Well, Jared, always appreciate the time, the insights, super excited to follow your race at Cape Town. Like you said, the live coverage there is excellent. So link to it all in the show notes and uh, yeah, best of luck out there. Appreciate it, Finn. Thanks.